Hi, hope everyone's doing well. Um, my name is Ibrahim Abdel Salam. I'm an 18 year old senior at K-12. And I'm here to talk to you today about what I learned from my experiences to help assist you in your upcoming exciting journey, whether it's high school or middle school. So middle school and high school can seem pretty nerve wracking at first as the responsibilities are starting to increase and everyone's trying to fit in and you know, find their role, but don't worry. That's the first tip, by the way, don't worry. Because as stressful as it might seem, with the right principles in place, you'll not only cruise through high school, but it will serve as great building blocks for the rest of your life in every aspect. You know, when I started high school, most of my habits, thankfully, were good. You know, but I never really understood the magnitude and importance of those habits until right now, like, you know, in the past year. For example, ever since middle school, I've been playing basketball and, you know, playing for the school teams. Uh, I did this just because I enjoyed it. But after all these years, um, I noticed how important finding something you enjoy doing and staying consistent with it is. You know, lots of my friends, they try to join other clubs and activities just to put it on resumes and get jobs or go to college. But most of the times, they never really grew to enjoy these activities. And uh, because of that, they actually left them and then they would go to another one. And for me, other than school, basketball has been the most consistent activity for me that I grew an interest in and dedicated myself to it. The biggest thing that I could suggest that you do you know, is to explore your interests. This is the time to do that. And not only that, you know, it doesn't have to be basketball or a sport. It doesn't have to be something huge. You know, it could be drawing, coding, you know, those are big too, but you know, something, anything that interests you, it doesn't matter what it is, but stay consistent with that and actually try to develop not only your skills in that area, but your character by pushing yourself in that activity, push yourself out of your comfort zone, because that's where your growth is going to take place. And you won't truly understand how this feels until you actually do it. Can't really explain it. So while high school is a great time to explore yourself, it could also lead to some danger, you know, with the absence of responsibility. And I should feel like I should talk about this. Decision making is very important because I witnessed many students who were great kids, you know, but ended up in the wrong place because of bad influence. Developing a trustworthy, close friend circle uh, with people who push you to be a more successful individual in a positive way is one of the greatest things you can do for yourself. Surround yourself with good company and close company because it will help you find your interests and also push you in the right direction. You're going to see a lot of your peers change dramatically, whether it's physically, mentally, you know, socially, and it could be very overwhelming. I'm a firm believer in moderation and consistency. All I can say that after all my years in high school, I can truly confirm the story of the tortoise in the hare. All right, that's not a joke. The story is real. Life in any aspect is it's not a sprint. It's it's a marathon. Uh true long-lasting success and happiness happens only over time. I always see my peers trying to seek success or pleasure in short-term short-term ways and it works. But it doesn't work in the long run. It works for a little bit, you know, whether it's watch TV for now, but instead of maybe do my homework now, but it's gonna make you feel better in the long run. You have to make those sacrifices. And you know, committing and dedicating yourself to whatever you choose, really important because you'll succeed only in something that you commit to, no matter what it is. And because of that, you have no reason to stress. You know, we fabricate stress when we feel like something is not working out. You won't really notice that because it's unconscious, but what I suggest is rather than investing your energy in stress, invest your energy in time and stress management. You know, when your time is scheduled with consistency, you'll rarely find yourself late for an assignment or study for a test, which are usual things that will lead to stress. You know, if you get bad grades, if you're not ready for a test, if you, if you, you know, schedule your time right, everything will work out well. And I personally suggest developing a habit for exercise. Uh, at any level, doesn't have, you don't have to be a, you know, vision one athlete, you know, you could walk outside, you know, because it's not only going to improve your physical health, it'll make you feel way better. You know, 
Now, I know these were a lot of tips. It was pretty long. Um, but I really sincerely hope that you can use these to your advantage because they're really important. And uh, you can only really learn these through experience. So it's really good that you guys are getting to know this now. And most importantly, remember to relax because there's nothing to worry about. You know, this is just a new phase in life and you should be really excited. And I wish you all the best of luck in this new uh, exciting journey of yours. Bye.